Sickle cell is a disorder that primarily affects black Americans, and it changes the shape of red blood cells. And according to one woman, one challenge that is currently facing people with this disorder is the fact that the transition from pediatric to adult care can be quite challenging. When we talk about transition, that's everything from health care to education to work. I mean, there's so many intricate pieces. Lashard A. Scott is the president and CEO of the Scott Center for Observation, Treatment, and Transition out of Northwood. She doesn't currently have a physical space she operates out of, but does offer support to families that struggle with the transition that she just mentioned. Scott received her bachelor's degree in social work and communications from Eastern Michigan University, her master's degree in mental health and chemical dependency, and graduate certificates in nonprofit management and grant writing. She's currently a student at the University of Kentucky's Doctor of Social Work Administration and Leadership Program. Scott says that supporting those with sickle cell and their families is personal to her. One of my children right now is dealing with a pain crisis. So those episodes can last anywhere five days plus, three, three to five days plus. It just depends on the person. Scott tells me that every sickle cell patient is different and that there are many things people without sickle cell don't have to consider, such as the temperature of rooms they're in or if winter gear may be needed in the spring. She says that stigma and a lack of education about the disorder in the black community is just another layer to make living with sickle cell a challenge. On top of the fact that trust issues make minority blood donations, which are always in need, hard to come by. I think that is the biggest piece that we lack education on what sickle cell disease is, who's impacted, and more importantly, we don't even talk enough about sickle cell traits, which leads to sickle cell, you know what I'm saying, which, which um, when people make, they have kids with sickle cell disease. And Scott tells me that her organization is one of very few that exist in the country. So the services that she's offering are really important. But for now, reporting in Toledo, I'm Jaden Jefferson.